Hello guys, this is Gabriel Fallen from Team SK Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to run a T-side pistol on overpass. And it's going to be a useful pistol, a very simple pistol to be made. And the first part of this pistol is going to be you trying to get advantage on the fact that some CT players try to rush me, try to rush Fontaine at the beginning. And after it, after getting some control during the Fontaine area and the bathroom area, we're going to run a, a strategy split A, where two guys are going to go long A, using a trick that will help the first guy get closer without being seen and the other guy is going to go highway and bathroom and one guy is going to be the support player using a smoke and double flash to help us entering the a side so i hope you guys like it try to understand how it works and let's see it right now in the game so player one during this t pistol he's gonna hold here at the beginning of the round hoping that the ct is gonna make aggression what are they doing here we're trying to bait the ct and we're gonna wait here eight or 10 seconds maximum. And then all of us, you and our teammates, are gonna push here and try to see if someone is over aggressive here and start getting control. So that's a very uh, good type of strategy because sometimes the CT guys, they take a look and see, oh, it's all clear, I can start pushing. And that's when you surprise them. So we're hoping for that. After you do it, you're gonna start acting like it was a default. You have to take care of all positions, you don't have too much needs to spend, so you're gonna use your movement skills to start getting map control. Jumping and all those things, making sure the angles are not there. If you see someone, fight them carefully, don't need to overcommit and kill them. Try to make them go far away, because we have a good plan to the end of the pistol, which is making an A execution. As soon as we can make them go far back, we're gonna win the round. Just make sure to don't overcommit and press W to the end, because this is bad. Go slowly, checking every single angle, otherwise you'll be killed. Um, you have some options on mid, and after getting mid control, you can do the same here on long A. Start strafing, checking if you see someone, getting information, and then you're gonna act as a group of your teammates getting those errors for you. So after getting a little of map control, you're gonna end the round going long A. So the player one, gonna go long A, make sure to cover all the angles here while getting control. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna boost one player here. All right, so the player one, gonna boost the player two over here, so the player two can do something different here and get closer without being seen. And you, as soon as you see that he's getting closer, you're gonna peek here and get attention for you. But your enemy will not know there is a player two is already close. So that's how we're gonna try to get an easy kill here by this little trick. Now moving to the player two. This is the guy trying to get control over the areas together with the other teammates. So he's gonna stay here waiting for some seconds as well and wait for a couple seconds, eight or 10 seconds at maximum. And then you guys are gonna explode together, trying to fight them. As the same as the first guy did. Make sure to check the angles you can with your movement skills, jump, get some information. Remember, if you see an enemy, you don't need to, oh, there's a guy there, I need to go kill him. No, go slow, you have a plan to the end. So you make them go away, you go slow, get in control of the map. Go back to long A with the player one, get control long A, strafe, check where they are, make some good communication. If you see someone there holding, oh, there's one guy there. All right, let's pick together. One, two, three, go. Make some space, and then you guys pick together. That's how you try to get map without too many nades and fighting them accordingly. As soon as you get here, you're gonna be boosted, and when you go here, try to be as fast as you can without being seen, all right? So if someone is looking for you, that's not your fault, right? If someone is looking for you, they're looking for you. There's nothing you can do, but if they're not looking for you, Make, go fast here and press shift so you don't make noise and starting getting closer and closer. If you think that your teammates are not ready yet, just hide here and don't pick anymore. All right? But if you think they are close to getting to the strategy, you can start progressing and then your teammates are gonna start baiting for you and as soon as they start shooting, you're gonna pick from here and start killing people. All right? So the best thing that could happen is your teammates being ready at the same time so everything happens smoothly at the same time. But if you think they're waiting for some reason, they're not ready yet, you can just wait a couple seconds here. So now we're moving to the player three. Player three is gonna be your support player. He's gonna have one flash, one smoke, and another flash, two flashes and one smoke. So what he's gonna do is, he's gonna wait here with the teammates. They're gonna be in front of him. You don't wanna be the first guy without a cavalry. So let your teammates be more in front of you. And as soon as the time goes, you're gonna open together then, you're gonna fight some and see if you find someone around here. Let our teammates be moving and in front of you so you don't have too much
too much uh, shots because uh, you're going to need our nades. If you die, we lose our plant. So try to go more passive than your teammates. If they're trying to get back from control, you hold long A. If they're holding long A, you just hold balloon and try to strafe some. So let them get the space for you. In the second part, where you already have long A, you have bathroom, and you are close to highway, you're gonna use the help of the fourth player to get highway control. And once you have highway control, you're gonna learn this smoke here that lands on ramp A. So you're gonna get your smoke, jump at the middle of this bank, you're gonna look to the woman sign at the sky, crouch and throw it. This smoke will go perfectly and straight to the ramp A, removing some options for the CTs to be holding this site. And then you can use some flashbangs to start the action at A site. That's your part as the player tree. Be passive at the beginning, set up the nades, and start the strategy communicating pretty well. So let's move now to the player four. Player four is the guy who is getting formation connector for us. So as you know, your teammates are waiting here slowly to try to surprise your opponents. So you, on connector, you don't need to go too fast. If you go too fast, you could face a lot of opponents and that's not what you want. So you can try playing passive here, maybe just checking this angle, or if you wanna be a little more hiding here, waiting for someone to be aggressive, you can stay there as well. And the main idea is, as soon as you feel that your teammates are getting balloon control, you can start getting control connector as well. So you start strafing, make sure to use this kind of movements where you go and go forward and go back so you can get some information without dying. Let's suppose sometimes there's enemies here. When you do it, he misses shot, he's getting desperate because we are trying to get him from a lot of space, from a lot of, uh, a lot of place, and then it's easier to kill him later. If you just move forward like this, you are an easy bait for your opponent. Don't try to don't do this. So every time you move like this, get information, no one here, you keep progressing. Now there's a new spot, you do it again. Oh, there's no one there, do it again. So you keep moving like this on the positions you know people are. Sometimes they're here, sometimes they're here. Sometimes they're hiding, so you have to check those angles in those corners. After you do this control, after you get connector for your teammates, make sure to communicate, I have connector, connector is clear, and then make sure to strafe those positions as well. Sometimes people are here, sometimes people are checking your exit, so you strafe here, and then you start getting closer. Uh, if you can, make sure to strafe on bathroom as well, and start getting closer and closer, because you're gonna be important piece on entering the site when the execution starts happening. Let's talk about the fifth player, and this is the guy who is taking care of being formation at the beginning of the round. You don't, know, don't need him being too much aggressive. He can play more passive role because you need him at the end of the round. So you can start just getting info here, for example. Don't overextend. If you see that they're pushing you, that's good. If, if your opponent is, is using a lot of players to push you, you can tell your teammates, guys, they're pushing me. So that will make their life easier on their part. And you just can fall back and, okay, you can have this, I don't need this and then you let them have the monster area. Of course, you can shoot some, can try to fight some, but you don't need to die here trying to secure this area. We don't need it. So just be the kind of information guy at the beginning of the round. After that, you can join your teammate or connector to help him do this thing, or you can even go later at this uh, later stage to the bathroom and higher area where you're gonna be an important piece at getting closer and use the flashbangs and smokes to enter the A site. And as the fifth player here, you'll be the last one to join the force. You are doing something else at the beginning of the round, and you wanna be the guy helping in action with the other player. You don't wanna be the guy just holding back. Leave the thing of holding or, or backs to the guy who has no cover. With cover, you wanna be the guy fighting and trying to win the fights here over the A side, and try to be synchronized with the guy from the long A. It doesn't work if this guy go alone. It doesn't work if you go alone. It works when you communicate and you guys prepare a very specific hit where everyone goes at the same time. That's when you can get the kills and then prepare yourself for the after plan. So I hope you guys liked this video, how to execute this T-side pistol overpass. And remember that those pistols are never the same. Sometimes your opponent can be over aggressive and then the round is gonna change and you have to understand how to run simple strategies and how to run the smokes just a little different if something happens and you can end on a 5v5. But anyway, with four players alive, three players alive, you can keep doing something together and it's gonna to work to the end. See you guys in the next one.